and that guy won all four Iditarods, the last one, 1990, after they took a two-pound cancerous tumor out of him. He jumped in front of the team and, and proved to the vets that he still had one more victory in him. Nothing that Susan forced on him, he volunteered to go, and off they went and won the race. He lived to be 17 and a half years old wow, and ran awesome. over 40,000 miles in his lifetime. This is a wow. tremendous competitor related to these dogs that you She see takes here. care of these dogs like you so would. I'm going to one of my favorite things here. Yeah. Yeah. Introduce you to one of this country's outstanding professional athletes. This young lady's right up there with Babe Ruth and Craig Cobb and, and uh, Anna Pastoran Stram and anybody else that you're reading about in Sports Illustrated. Four right in to the top of the Nally and back in 1979, and she is a good neighbor and a terrific friend of ours. So let's make a lot of noise for four time I did right <laughs> Good afternoon, and look at those puppies. I want to, I want to dessert and come over here and play with the puppies. Yeah, definitely so. This is, they're six weeks old. They're at their cutest stage right now. We still have these puppies and their mother living over at the house with us. We like to be with the mothers when they're birthing the puppies to make sure everything goes safely. But much more importantly, to be able to start to bond with the pups. And although their eyes are shut for the first 10 days of their life, they have a good sense of smell. So we'll pick up each puppy and blow across their noses. And they start to get a sense of us right from the beginning. And this bonding, of course, continues throughout their entire lives. But it is most important right here in the early weeks and months. Now, uh, these guys are ready for the next phase in their training. And uh, so that's going to start this afternoon. They're going out with me to my homestead uh, 150 miles northwest of here and uh, what we like to do at six weeks is start to take them on daily walks in the woods so we take their mother with us and some of the older retired dogs because we're trying to teach them the same love of adventure and we're there to encourage them over the obstacles praise them on the other side but most importantly if it's too much for them then we're there to lift them over it and this way they can start to understand that we'll be there for them at every stage in their life and that is most important when they start running in harness and racing, that they can understand that we'll never ask them to go any farther or faster than they're capable of. Well, I'm the luckiest guy on here because I get to see these guys every day. And they are. They will grow, of course, continue to grow like these guys are popping out of here. And when will you actually make a team out of them? Well, yeah, this group here, uh, they've been out to my homestead a number of times. And they're now five months old. And uh, I'm having to take them into the mountains and go to some of the tops of the minor peaks in order to find adventure for these guys because they're five months old. And there's a few retired dogs in there also. But um, uh, in just another couple weeks, they'll be ready to go in harness. On that day, it's pretty exciting. We take one of our adult leaders out in front and then four to six puppies behind. And it's so instinctive in these puppies to pull within just a minute or two, they look like a small adult team of dogs. So we have a saying here at the kennel that it only takes us two minutes to count for. But they are the ones that help us train these young puppies and make them into some future champions. Well now, we had a chance to talk about Granite just a little bit, and I was telling the folks about his record, and I know he was kind of a late drummer, but oh, I see her right now. Do you have one of your go-to leaders out here? Yeah, that's, uh, she's running a couple of different there you'll see motion there and watch the monitor too if you don't pick it up i'll tell you when i see her 
and we'll have her close up on the, uh, the TV monitor. There she is, right there, just coming out. relationship that started when they were little puppies like this really pays off dividends on the trail because as you may have noticed there are no reins or mechanical means to signal the leaders it's strictly voice command it's a year of pro plan and then we feed um, meat sources beef liver lamb chicken fish lots and lots of oils and fats in the winter when it's cold vitamin and mineral supplements all year long so you can see the dogs have the best diet but for me i see them live on macaroni and cheese <laughs> Leftovers are coming when you've got two legs. Now, she'll be coming up behind the dog barn here in just a yeah. second. Here comes the team. A little bit uh, slower. And uh, there, there may have been some uh, interesting things going on in the water. But they're trying right along. Here she comes. Now, watch carefully the front end. She'll give the hog command. Watch the lead dog. Right in here. You just talk them off a little bit, that's the other command. And then I want to see what the Nike's got back there. Yeah. How was it, Susan? Well, it was great. And uh, you know, that, the lake and the river have actually connected over here. And so the, this, this uh, big puddle is about a foot deep and crossing their trail.